And I now want to share with you the current evidence, the fundamental studies that allow us to say that hypothermia works after cardiac arrest. Now, before I tell you about the studies, some of you are not healthcare providers taking this course. And I wanted to explain a little bit what is a randomized trial. You may have heard of this term in the media. So I want to take a moment, healthcare providers, forgive this diversion. What does a randomized trial look like? Well, randomized isn't completely random. What it means is patients are either given a therapy or not given a therapy, and you don't know what you're going to do until you randomize them, until you choose which arm of the study they're going to be in. So let me explain what I mean. In the setting of cardiac arrest, a study might look like this, and these are the randomized trials I'll share with you. An arrest victim is transported by ambulance to an emergency department in a hospital. Now, in that emergency department, they are then randomized, essentially a coin is flipped, and they are either treated with hypothermia or not treated with hypothermia. Now, this can only be done in situations where it's ethically felt if, if, that we don't know if a therapy works. If we knew that cooling worked, it wouldn't be ethical to not give that therapy to patients. Well, the studies that were done before these randomized trials were not definitive, and so it was felt ethical because we didn't know if hypothermia would work. Indeed, there's potential risks from whole body cooling. So in the studies I will share with you, victims were randomized to cooling or no cooling, and then outcomes were assessed. So patients were cared for in the hospital, and at the end, the question was, how many patients survived and how well did they survive in each of these groups or arms of the study. Okay, so that's what a randomized trial of post-arrest cooling looks like. Now, there are, as I mentioned, several randomized trials. These were all done within the last 10 years, so this is fairly new stuff and very exciting because they really catapulted hypothermia into the modern consciousness. The first study I'll share with you about briefly is called the Hypothermia After Cardiac Arrest Trial, or the HACA trial. Now, in the HACA trial, patients randomized to cooling were cooled to 32 degrees Celsius, so again, mild hypothermia, and they were kept cold for 